What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new video and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to create fake camera movements. So basically let's say that you want to have a shot of something that the camera is moving from the left to the right for example, but you didn't film that. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that in this video so make sure to smash the like button down below and I would say let's get started. So this video is kind of the same like how to make a fake drone effect because we're simulating a movement. We're not gonna you know do something with our physical camera. We're gonna do this in the editing process afterwards and if you guys want to see a little snippet of the fake drone effect I'll also leave in the description. Here's a snippet of it right now. What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new Vegas Pro 15 tutorial and in this video I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to recreate a nice map slash drone effect. So that's a really cool effect, so I would say let's get started. So first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna drag in a clip. As you can see, this is just some royalty free stock footage from a Tower Bridge. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the, make the camera go from the left to the right. So what we're gonna do first of all is we're gonna click on the little uh, icon that says Event Pan Cross. Up. Then what we're going to do is, in order to make it um, zoom across, the, well, slide across the screen, we have to zoom in a little bit, and I'll show you guys why in a minute. So, if we're not going to zoom in, this is going to happen. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this icon is set to move to X only. That's really, really important. So let's say if we're not going to zoom in, we're going to just go ahead and put it to a little bit to right here, and then we're going to create a keyframe. I would say right here, click on the timeline, and then we're going to slide it like that. So if you're not going to zoom in, you will see this, which is not what we want. For some reason, it is just zooming from the left to the right. We have a we have black bars all the way around, as you can see, and that's not what we like. That's not what we want. What we want to do, we're going to go back to the event pan crop. We're going to delete this keyframe. We're going to also put this guy in the middle restore we're going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit for example like so then we're going to place this guy to the very left of the screen then what we're going to do is we're going to place a keyframe around right here and then we're going to go ahead and zoom this guy to the right so if we go ahead and play this back and i'm going to show you guys how this looks right now so this is what it looks like as you can see, it is sliding really, really slow. I'm going to make the keyframe a little bit closer so it's a little bit faster so you guys can see. So as you can see right now, this is just uh, sliding across the screen. But hand motions are not really that steady in the line. Like if you have, let's say that your camera is on a tripod, you can zoom very accurate and in one straight line if you play it back. As you can see, we can zoom in one straight line if it's on a tripod, but if you want to say that this is filmed handheld, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the keyframe right here, and we're going to place some keyframes around it, and we're going to move up those frames just a little bit, go a little bit uh, down, go a little bit up, because hands are not really that steady, you know, you will probably end up with shaky footage, so this is basically how it looks if you go ahead and do it handheld, as you can see. So that looks really cool and this is how you simulate a camera movement or fake a camera movement. So this is basically filming handheld and if you can, if you guys have a tripod you can set your camera on. You can obviously do that and you can just slide across the screen. So that's it for this video guys. It is that simple. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for the continued support. I'll catch you guys tomorrow with a brand new tutorial always on the channel. So that's it and I will see you guys obviously in tomorrow's video. Just Alex Halford.